Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars Green Planet. In the last video, we did finish the mission. Um, not the mission, we finished the mystery for Inner Light. We got Dream Reality as a result there. We had there a... are Earthsick colonists. Yeah, huh? whoop de doo We got Pure Rains, now possible, just based on the uh, amount of terraforming that we have going. We're running very, very low on polymers right now, so uh, domes that we're under construction right now, we're going to start to uh, work to get that going. But I'm also running critically low on available jobs and also housing. I could put some more domes in here. And I was thinking, could I connect this, which is going to be a massive baby dome, there are over to here? Colonists. But this is what I was thinking about after I recorded Friday's episode. Um, I think a capital city going right here would be perfect. Um, I could even flatten this out if I wanted to. There's a wild vegetation balloon I think that we got uh, just because. Complete. Sweet, gene selection's done. Um, so at 15%, we got a little bit of a blue coming on the planet here. Uh, we got a little bit of water, we got a little bit of vegetation. We do have some anomalies right now, and we do have a rocket inbound with as many polymers as I can afford. Not many. Uh, we also got uh, seed vegetation going on, so we're just going to start seeding vegetation until I'm blue in the face. And someone recommended on Friday's video, I believe, pulling up my uh, YouTube Studio app. It's a fun little app that uh, creators have access to, and I think you can get it too. Um, KXNG Jonas, if not at full power yet, use potatoes. You'll be swimming in food, lol. I like it. So we can actually start trading food for stuff, so I'm liking that idea. Um, so this actually, because the soil quality here is massive right now, if I actually put potatoes in, um, because I'm getting, what, half a seed here, a food here, I could actually just do cover crops, cover crops, potatoes, and that would just maximize how much food we're going to get out of this. Um, I should point out, I am recording this on Saturday night. Um, I'm enjoying a little beverage, as um, I am able Colonists to. Are departing. When the hell did you get here? Are you automated? When the hell did you land? Oh no, I built this one. <laughs> Derp. Alright. Yeah, we're going to start sending expeditions. We're loading this shit up. Um, 650, or 50 machine parts for 650 science. Um, GFY. Oh, let's look at the research. Um, I haven't done anything with that since the last one. So we got Project Molehole going right now. We got large-scale excavation, dry farming, fusion, auto-regulation. I do have the service bots, but these are incredibly expensive researches. And I'm hoping that uh, these ones, when I get some uh, science dudes in there, we'll be able to make that work. Um, our baby-making dome is going to be down here. I think I have my sexy people. I've, uh, yep. I'm just going to turn that off, just because this was supposed to be a baby dome, and this one just completely just blew out. Um, yeah, we are critically low on concrete right now, which is kind of making me think we need an excavator or waste rock liquefaction, which would produce small amounts of concrete. I'm thinking we need to just go with what we've got. Um, storage space is full. I have a concrete deposit. I have a concrete thing right here. All right. Uh, also recommended to get more. Um, uh, what was I supposed to get more of? More, more drones built up. We're working on that right now. Um, because I can. Granted, I'm not going to get these all built at once. Uh, getting more shuttles built up. To take care of all the food that's in here, because apparently there's a lot of food available here. Um, I have no food storage available at this site right now. Hopefully the drones can, uh... Hopefully they're not taking it down here. Um, because the amount of food I'm producing, I absolutely want to be distributed evenly between my domes. Um, I'm going to actually make you like 100 food desired here. Um, food here, let's desire you at a, a hundo. You're at 50, like you 100 too. Experimental rocket. 
Let's bring Alicanto 1 down and take a look at this. A new rocket engine has been developed by our sponsor on Earth. We have been offered the dubious honor of testing the first prototype. Yeah, sure, we'll accept it. I think that's just one that gives us a random extra rocket. Um, seed vegetation is complete. We got uh, Bennu 3 coming out right now. Alicanto 2 is heading to an anomaly. Wow, 13 of you leaving? No, you're not. All right, uh, Project Babylon. We'll do that. This is the thing. We're losing colonists, but at the same time, we're getting colonists. Um, we're we're there creating more Earth colonists. colonists. Um, I have access to a couple of concrete depots here. You have waste rock storage full. Analyzed. All right, got a little metal out of it. That's fine. Um, let's put some large dumping sites out in here. Resources are low. Mm-hmm. All right. I don't even know what that one was supposed to be doing. Oh, yeah, that was the... Chirpty, 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 tear. Alright, dust storm. That's gonna be a problem. Uh, a lot of Earth-sick colonists kind of sucks right now, because, I mean, we're colonists making this place much, departed. much more like Earth. And, um, not yet, you're not. Um, Patrick Babylon, we're doing that right now. Patrick Yukon. Here we go. Might as well do all the anomalies, and then these guys are just gonna... I'm just gonna go seed vegetation like a madman right now. Oh no, there a food has been stolen. Colonists. Yeah, um, service bots, totally needed right now. In fact, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This one I really want to get, but I need these two to keep the, the planet moving. So Molehole Mine is going to give us unlimited metals and rare metals. Excavator is going to give us unlimited concrete, uh, polymers, ouch. Colonists are departing. No, you're not. So we'll go cover crop. Nope. Cover crops. Cover crops. Potato. There are earth sick colonists. Um, you are gonna head to another one. Nope. Already on it. Seed vegetation. Go. Hmm. Anomaly analyzed. Yeah. Ooh, here we go. We got some polymers coming back. That's very, very helpful for us. Um, hmm. We do have a small concrete deposit up here. I need to hook these two up. Like, rapido. Um... Okay, it's going to be just outside. Um, this I want to turn off for the moment. Um, this requires a lot of metals to get operational. I want this concrete extractor up and running first. And then I'll most likely get this guy up and going too. Yeah, something very cool. I actually didn't know you can uh, twist those around. Okay, you're going... I don't know what you're going to. There are Earth-sick colonists. No. Colonists are departing. No, you're not. Okay. So seed vegetation, that one's going. Seed vegetation, this one's going. Ooh, wait a minute. Somebody had an idea about... Capture meteors. We can totally capture meteors off of this one. And then what I'll do is... Our MDSs are operational, which is good. Um, we've got a really good area of coverage right now. With them, we've got a couple of spots up here that aren't being protected as well as they should. Um, ooh, that's what's slowing us down. Uh, waste rock storage is full. Waste rock storage is full. I need another carbonate. If I had the concrete for it, I'd put a carbonate processor down here. Research um, complete. Yay! Anomaly, anomaly. Oh, sweet! That just kickstarted stuff for us. I'll take it. Um, large dumping sites here, 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 here. Nope, not that one. Give it that one. Okay, I'll get these guys going. Uh, this one, I'm going to turn off this Megadome project, mainly because that's a lot of... I want to get this up and running. So we can start uh, getting going with the planet. Okay. 
You are not doing too bad. A lot of food over there right now. But also a crap load of seeds, and I'm liking that. Um, let's take a look. Hmm. I'm hoping this um, gets going sooner. Yeah, we're getting slow progress on it. I'm hoping we get that going a little bit faster, too. But man, this colony, just, as soon as we got that uh, you need 20 concrete, I'm actually going to cancel that project right now. I don't think we need any more outside domes. You... Yeah. Yeah, that one's off. I don't have to worry about him right now. Good! This is working. And now we can get concrete going to where it needs to be going to. Other things. Do you think we can have you do? Launch a SETI satellite for 2 billion. I speak comm satellite. I'm actually going to do this one. Wait, am I going to do this one? Hmm. I could. It would increase my, uh. My sponsor here. But let's go for some. Go for some cloud seeding. Resources are low. Yes, they are. And we also have a dust storm coming in, so some of these things are going to be grounded. Uh, these guys, these farms do not open work during dust storms. Kind of sucks, but it's what it comes to the territory. Let's up, up that to 100. And hopefully, we're not going to have this problem again where we have a bunch of starving colonists. Um, number of colonists are dying. I guess I'm losing colonists here. Ah, uh, crap, I just realized I ordered a bunch of that. Oh, well. Okay. Is this thing operational yet? Oh, yeah. Let's turn you back on. Let's get the metals going here. We got a little bit of concrete going out of these guys. That's good. Um, storage space for straight concrete is full. I'll drop a concrete depot there, please. And... I'm going to unpack some extra drones out of here. Yeah, because I only have three doing any work right now, so that's my main problem. Okay. Alright, what, what can we do? Um, I definitely want to build more drone hubs. That takes metals and electronics. I can just put drone hubs essentially wherever the hell I want. Um, but I'm actually going to do them in areas where I can have some overlap. Like right here. That's a good spot for a drone hub. Oh. Oh, that was a dome I was looking at. Derp. And the reason I'm putting these all out here... It should be pretty obvious. Since I have automated hubs operational, I'm just going to start uh, laying down the four station plants. What the hell? Oh, it's, oh, these are toxic pools. Resources are low. Cool. I didn't know what these things were yet. And we can clean those up really quick. I'm just gonna put this one like out here. Okay, so this thing that I thought was okay. So let me go into my. Hang on. Let's close those two up. Let's do this. Okay, toxic pools don't appear. Wow, look at that lake work. Yeah, turn that off. We'll get out from there. Up here is fine. It's just that low area that's uh, running into problems. Look at that, 1,000 food. Lickety split. Now, 
as I'm doing this, I could develop a trade area similar to what I had in, I guess it was a Russian reboot. It's been so long. Mission suspended due to dust storm. Um, doesn't want me. Oh, good. These two actually got off. Crazy. Um, in the meantime. So this dust storm isn't going to last that much longer. I do have two MDSs down here, which is fine. I'll most likely build a third and tuck it in right there. Perfect. That way, um, if slash when, uh, we get any meteors down here. We, we can't shoot them down. Okay, how many leaks do I have? I got two. Oh, I'm so glad we don't have pipe leaks anymore. Everything is just draw, drawing off. Is, it's a symptom. Uh, nine hours. Show me where. There are Earthsick colonists. Thirty-four buildings not operational. Most of them I can't do anything about. Uh, this one is malfunction, most likely because of an idiot on staff. Yep, there, there she is. There she is. I do like this. Dreamer's inspiration. Wow, I got a resources are I have a renegade alcoholic dreamer. Mm, yeah, metals are an issue. So let's start working on something to address the metals problem. Um wonder, wonder, wonder. 400, 100, 300. Okay. Um Yeah, I mean in theory I can just put it wherever I want. Like right there, actually. Let's go ahead and get rid of that depot. I can just put it right here. Excuse me, right there. Right the hell there. Problematic Moxie. What do we got going here? Alright. You tap the red light on the terminal with your finger. It should have turned green when the dust storm dissipated. It looks like a Moxie unit is out of order. Moxie shut down during dust storms to prevent their dust filter from jamming up and damaging the unit. However, the filter this one is completely clogged. Oxygen production is vital for the colony, but the filter repair will take 24 hours. We can either bypass the filter, wait for repairs, or if we were an inventor, we could just make a new filter. I've got a surplus of 7. This one is producing granted 5.8. If I hit wait on it, I'm not going to have an oxygen shortage. So this one will come offline, and I've still got a surplus going. Holy crap, look at these shuttles go. Okay. So this one's going to take uh, the extra steps we need. Um, good. Machine parts are being delivered on site. And I'm actually going to unload those extra dudes. You know what? Pause. Go. Let's get this dome operational. I think that's going to be the next play. And then, ooh, helpfully. Um, helpfully. Not 100% sure that's a word, but... Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be my word today. Helpfully. Depot. Rear metals depot. Beep boop. And I'm also going to put a machine parts depot specifically here. And put a desired amount to be 50. Reasoning for that, um, when you do the upgrades, Research obviously, 200, complete. 400. Oh, hold up. Um, hang on. I'm gonna do Mars Nouveau. I'm gonna cancel the molehole mine. And my thinking is this. If it's gonna take 20% less to get done, why not use it? Why not utilize it? There are Earthsick colonists. Mm -hmm. And now that we have these extra uh these extra hubs online, we can start dropping down extra veg uh vegetation, forestation plants. So Okay, I've got a meteor storm now active. Most of it's coming down up here, which is fine, as long as it doesn't come down, you know, in this area. We got one vaporator and one extractor. Yay! And there was much rejoicing. Alright, cool. So, this dome... Yeah, I'm going to make this a comfy-ass dome. Hanging gardens, for one. I'm going to put apartments in here. 
there are because this is going to be a really comfy dome. People are not going to care. They're going to be crammed in like sardines. Wow. Um, was not expecting. Okay, you know what? At that point, let's see how many Earthsick colonists we do have. And if there's like 30 of them, I'm just going to send them all home. Colonists are departing. Just one. Okay. All right. Seed vegetation. I say we totally do it. So let's just get that up as high as we can in this video. Now, if I'm going to tunnel out to other domes, it's going to be in this area. So I'm going to do two playgrounds. Two nurseries. I will do a a small grocer. I'll do a security station in this dome because we got renegades right now and they're being kind of a dick. Yeah. Do an infirmary. Brain just stop there for a moment, sorry. Um let's do a space bar up here. Let's do two diners. Where's my grocer? Grocer. Two grocers. A small art store. A full-fledged electronic store. Dome services. Let's put a gaim down. Let's put a casino complex down. I need a sanatorium dome up sooner rather than later. Let's put an electronics factory down, a machine parts factory down, a school down, an MU down. I don't want to put any research in this dome. I'll put a large ass garden in here too. There we go. So the hang gardens, this dome is just going to be, I want, the comfort level in this dome is going to be stupid. So like this dome has a hundred comfort. Load them. Show me. All right, this one's offline. We can go ahead and uh, demo him. All right, perfect. So we do have uh, the homelessness. We're going to address that with this dome in a big, big ass way. Oh no, my food went down below a thousand. Nope, there it goes. It's fine. Yep, um, I'm actually going to put a large storage down here for food. And I just want a hundred food here. That's it. Because there's 500 food waiting to be plucked. Okay. Go down here. And the service box, once that's done, we're, we're going to be swimming in available workers. Just curious, is this guy up and running yet? No, he's not. There are Earth I'll be. Colonists. Yeah, so the magnetic field generator, this is going to help uh, reduce the atmosphere loss. Another one, my two GHG, my, all my GHG factories have been running since like the very, very early game. These have been the main source for, um, for the greenhouse gases. Just those four have been just doing their thing the entire time. Milestone achieved. <gasps> Tears of joy! Research complete. Mars Nuva is up and running. First rainfall cloud seeding in a display reminiscent to the formation flying shows back on Earth. Special shuttles flew wave after wave in and out of the water vapor clouds above our colony. Nothing happened for a short while. But right as the spectators began feeling down, the wind brought the first drops of fresh water rain rejoice and not court you got to celebrate rainfall i mean come on 
That's going to improve soil quality vastly over the colony. We got some more seed vegetation zones. So this is going to jump up to near 26% in just a second. All right, so with Mars Nouveau done, um, it's now 320, 80, 300. So we're going to go ahead and drop this guy back where I had him and get this project going. Metals are critically low right now, and it is concerning. So 20.78, this one's not done yet. Watch this go to 25.78. Boop! I said boop. Boop. Colonists are there you go, 25. So yeah, this one just needs some fuel, then it can take off. Uh, oh wow, holy crap. Um, yeah, we are burning through that fuel. So we're gonna let some, we're gonna let colonists leave. Um, I am taking everything that's available right now, uh, like material-wise. Are, are you amplified? Yes, you are. Are you amplified? Yes, you are. You don't have a deposit. There's a deposit here I could exploit. Yeah. Um, yeah, come on down. I'm going to send a few loads of rockets back to Earth. And here... I'm gonna put down one of these. Uh, I don't know what is wrong with me right now. It could be the beer. Okay, I'm just gonna hook this whole thing up. Um, this is kind of in range, and hopefully these two uh, hubs will be able there to connect them all up. Sick colonists. Thankfully, we had a bunch of machine parts just sitting there, so we just dumped them all in real quick. Uh, this dome, it has some playgrounds. It needs some services. And unfortunately, most of my service buildings require concrete, which uh, these guys are doing all they can do. Um, these guys got storage space full. We got a slight power fall off right now. Not too concerned about it. Yeah, we're gonna load up uh, these two rockets. We're gonna send them both home. I'm also gonna turn this dome on. Boop. Um, it's, incre it's further exacerbating our power loss. Yeah, something to shut down. Research complete. Dry farming. There we go. Reduces uh, crop requirements by a half, so that's going to be really good for us. Okay. Hmm. Now, my crazy gas plan that I had between episodes was to put the artificial sun up in this area and just solar panel the shit out of it. Um, thing is, I could just put a crap load of wind turbines up here, and it would just have the same effect. So, oh wow, look at that, 32 power. So, let's go ahead and drop some more big-ass turbines up here. Unfortunately, these take concrete. Something I don't have. Meh, close enough. We can, if we can get enough of them online, plus we are producing concrete locally out of two sites, we might be able to get those up and... Oh, wow. Yep. Really fast. You got any polymers up here? Let's go ahead and just get one of you going. Cloud seeding's available. Oh, look at the planet. I mean, we're getting some water across the planet. We got some ice asteroids I want to capture at some point, too. But at this point, with how many colonists just want to get the hell off the planet, I got no problem sending them home. Well, I do have one problem in sending them home. I don't have enough gas to get them home. This dome, we got some people uh, slowly starting to filter in. Look, we have no renegades in here. I'm really hoping that um, I have a renegade working in this. Damn, not yet. Um, this dome should just be cranking out the kids because the yeah the medical center is not up and running yet but the comfort in this dome should be stupid average comfort is 58 but I mean I've got 10 10 I've got a plus 30 comfort on this dome no fuel for shuttles oh oh that's actually an issue Huh. I have no rare metals coming in either. Huh. I chose not paying too much attention to what is going on here. 
Um, hmm. This is gonna be a problem. While well, I've completed some good research projects, Fusion Auto Regulation is gonna get us more workers back into the workforce. Hmm. Fueled extractors isn't gonna help us here. Hmm. Hmm. We've run into an issue. Because we desperately need rare metals. We're not producing a lot of them right now. We're producing them out of this spot, and that's it. You have the wrong skin. You need power to start producing metals. But I don't have the metals to do that. Most of my metals are tied up in this site. And if I turn it off, most of the metals will immediately go into this. Where's Hey Hey? Go collect those. We have waste rock storage full here. Unfortunately, there's only so many places you can dump the waste rocks. There we go. Oh, whoops. Let's go ahead and do that. I didn't realize I hadn't factory upgraded, uh, factory AI'd or amplified um, my refineries. Let's get that absolutely going. On all of them. Resources um, are low. Yes, they are. I'm gonna turn that one off for now. We do have plenty of food being produced right now, but uh, the fuel's an issue. The met like we're running low on a lot of things except for food, which if I had concrete, pa if I had pads available, I would just turn and say, "Derp." All right. They've got food to trade. They got concrete to trade. Let's go for. Yeah, that's us. IMM. Initiate trade. Um, they want polymers for metals. Could be worse. And the Europe. The Europe colony's missing. God, that's horrible. Okay, so until these guys leave. I actually can't start up any trade operations. Plus, if I want to build them, I want to build a nice little setup um, for my trading setup. I want to build a setup for my setup. Yeah. I think I need more beer. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Next video, hopefully, we're going to get... We're going to be piddling along, I think, uh, for a little while. Um, longer. Once we get the molehole mine up and running, that's going to take care of these two problems. Then we can get the excavator going to take care of this problem. Um, it's also going to get this dome fully operational. Um, I think planning all these things down without a lot, without an end game plan. Yeah, did one of my classics. But like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out on my channel. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for the tips that have actually helped this colony thrive, especially in the farming sectors. And um, I hope to see you all in the next video.